Okay, so good morning. Good morning, everyone. I think I need to just share my screen okay, just for a bit. Okay, so again, good morning, uh, students. So welcome to the University of Cebu College student training on eating learning management system. So I will be conducting the training for this morning for UCMATC campus. And so um, today is uh, be an exciting day for you guys. Uh, so we will show you around uh, what is the learning management system all about. Okay, so before anything else, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Phoebe Tinoyan, the pre, uh, sorry, the product specialist from CND Publishing. And I have here with me, uh, Miss Asela Javier. So uh, she is the head of the Business Alliance. Oh, so she will assist you on, uh, or we will assist you also on how to um, use the platform. And then if you have questions along the way, and please use the Q&A section. Um, I disable first the chat box because some of you are <laughs> um, excited about this uh, training for this morning. So um, without further ado, I will uh, have here first the training reminders. Okay, so as I've uh, flashed this a while ago, so these are the training reminders that you should be, uh, that you should take note of. So please listen carefully, carefully during the training. Okay, so and also take down notes for the important details that I will be discussing later on during the training. And please maximize the use of the Q&A section we have here. Um, the Q&A section wherein if you have uh, LMS questions, again, related to the training today, and please drop them in the Q&A section. But if you have other concerns like um, in the enrollment, the subjects that you are uh, enrolled with, and then also the section. So we are, um, unfortunately, we cannot answer those concerns. Uh, instead, we can give you the complete contact details of UCMET so that you can contact them um, regarding on those uh, kinds of concerns. and. Uh, please refrain from asking questions not related to the LMS training. So uh, for this one, um, I would like first to have a short presentation regarding on the uh, what is the training all about today. And then I'd also like to share to you what is the learning management system. Okay. And uh, also additional reminder, uh, during the hands-on training, uh, may, mga, um, may mga reminders lang din ako as we go along. And so again, this is a for our uh, training for this morning. So again, let's uh, start. So I have here a presentation outline first. So we would like to uh, share to you what is our uh, learning solutions that we offer and especially uh, since we are partnered also with your school and so uh, we will just share to you about what uh, who we are and uh, what are those adaptive learning solutions that we offer and also um, the second uh, outline is uh, I will also discuss what will you learn in this training and then second, uh, the last thing is uh, the, the exciting part, which is the actual hands-on training. And later on, uh, along the way, I will also entertain questions coming from the Q&A section. Okay, so uh, 27 years of the existence of the company, 
and CNE has become only the Philippine publisher and distributor providing the most comprehensive learning contents all across the levels of education. So, ano yung mga levels na yun? Uh, we cater from basic education, um, higher education, that's college, tertiary level, and up to library and academic research. And then, naabot din kami, nag-offer nag din kami ng mga con learning contents also to graduate studies and also up to professional level. Okay, so in here, uh, I would like to show you some of our um, learning content solutions that we offer. So I know you are familiar some of uh, those publishers. These are the foreign publishers that we are partnered also with and we offer them to different schools. Yeah. So, hindi lang siya sa classroom. So, we also offer online library solutions. Ayan. So, the second outline that I would like to show you also is uh, what will you learn in this training? So, we have two agendas here. The first thing is to access your LMS account. Okay. So, I would like to show you on how to access your LMS account in two ways. Yan. So, later on, i-discuss ko siya during the training. Yan. So, under the first uh, agenda, you we have there the edit your profile um, section. Then, you, we, you can, uh, I will show you also how to upload your profile image. Next thing is, uh, how can you set up your notification feature as well using uh, the platform? And also, I will show you uh, some of the enrolled courses that you are uh, enrolled. So, for the sake of the training, see, we all enrolled some of the students for them to, uh, para makasunod sila doon sa training natin today. Yeah. And then, the second agenda is, you will, how can you check your resources? So, as a student, uh, and uh, uh, as the student access that you have, how can you check your resources inside the learning management system? So, um, I would like to ask, what are the devices that we are using today? So, I, uh, I know you agree with some of them, which is uh, this. And so, yun yung mga ginagamit nating devices, such as uh, laptop or desktop, personal computers. And then also, we use the, some of the handheld devices that are familiar that you are familiar with. We have the smartphones and the tablets. So, yun yung mga devices natin na ginagamit for us to uh, connect to the World Wide Web or what you call the internet. And, so, and then everything is turning to digital. So, I know you agree with me with this also because uh, some of the um, manual processes that you know are now turning to digital so um, example the apps that you are using today since uh, you have your own device and then also since uh, you want to order something online and so yun yung may mga apps that are ginagamit for us to do those certain tasks and so in daily in daily basis Lahat na nang ginagawa natin is digital na. Okay. And so, in the educational landscape as well, we are now transitioning to digital. So, hindi lang siya sa everyday uh, aspect in, in area natin. Er, daily aspect in, in our daily lives. Yan. So, ang um, nangyayari is, yan, from manual ulit. So, since then, ginag gumagamit tayo ng blackboard. Then also... Uh, we use uh, those kinds of uh, methods for us to learn inside the classroom. But now, and ang nangyayari is some, uh, especially also teachers and students are now using these kinds of technology so that we can cope up on the learning uh, learning capabilities of uh, each of everyone and then yung learning methodologies din natin na ginagamit ng mga teachers din natin. So, uh, despite also of the um, event that we are experiencing or the crisis that we are experiencing, which is the COVID-19, hindi lang naman ito yung reason kung bakit na pabilis 
ang ganitong um, paggamit ng technology. So, humans foresee this because um, yung technology natin is uh, fast fast uh, evolving and uh, again, we are already aware of uh, what are these technologies are. Ayan. And, and so, and so from CNE, we have a solution to your school, which is the learning management system. And so this is the uh, system that I'm talking about. So this is called the eating learning management system pow uh, sir, powered by Moodle. Okay, so the learning management system that I'm referring to is, uh, this is one kind of system that you can use, especially you students, you can still actively participate in your class by doing such activities via online and using also this platform. Okay, so I'd like to show you a short video clip um, that is uh, what uh, does the Moodle do and uh, what can you do also as a user of this platform? And either you are a student or teacher, and ano yung pwede mong magawa? in this platform. Okay, so in your end, kindly please lower the volume down if malakas po siya. Ma end kasi lalakasan ko po para marinig nyo din po siya. Okay, so let me just play this video. Meet Maria. Maria is an educator at Orange Academy, teaching a variety of courses including media studies, economics, and history. Because she uses Moodle, her learners can easily access these courses, check their progress, and see what they need to do. Maria teaches her courses in English, but Moodle works in over 100 languages. She and her learners are able to quickly talk to each other in Moodle and stay in touch through the messaging and notification functionality. Maria gets her learners to share ideas in forums, engages them with media and uses quizzes to check their understanding. They can submit assignments on the go from their smartphones and Maria can comfortably grade them wherever she chooses. Moodle's tools help Maria inspire and support her learners. Moodle is used in every country in the world by educators just like Maria in K-12 classrooms and higher education institutions. Moodle is also widely used for training, professional development and inductions in many organizations and businesses of various sizes. There are hundreds of millions of Moodle users globally and this number keeps rising. What makes Moodle the world's open source learning platform is our commitment to open processes and development build and support together with a huge and diverse global community of users. Our mission is to empower educators like Maria with powerful, flexible tools that will contribute to and are resulting in improvements to our world. Explore the various ways to get started with your own Moodle site at moodle.com. Okay, so those are the things that uh, users can do in this platform. Okay, so um, with that, before we dive in to the most exciting part of this training is the hands-on. So I'd like to um, show you how to access your account. So now, uh, if you may recall, kanina, Nabanggit ko na I will show you in two ways. So the first thing is uh, how to access your LMS account via web browser. The second thing also is uh, how can you access your LMS account using the Moodle mobile app. So again, later on, during, uh, doon sa ating training, is we will show you, especially you guys, I know uh, you are... Uh, you have a big concern with the LM, uh, using of the smartphones. Um, some of you are using mobiles already. And then again, some of you who participate here in the training are using um, your own laptop or PC. So um, don't worry, guys, kasi yun nga po, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang uh, ways for you to access your LMS account. 
But first thing is uh, for the demonstration today, I would like to show you first the web browser using the web browser. And so as you can see here in your screen, is meron kayo na ikitang URL. So this is the URL link that you need to take note of also. So every now and then kapag i-access nyo itong LMS, is you need to type this URL. So universityofcebu.eatingsites.com. Ayan. So you need to be familiarized also with this URL kasi kung sasabihin ng instructor nyo, yung teacher nyo na kailangan nyo i-access yung mga resources na to dito sa, dun sa LMS, is you know already the URL link. Ayan. So first thing is how to access your LMS account. Uh, remember this URL. And then, as you've entered this one, the URL in the uh, address bar of any web browser that you prefer. And the next um, step will be uh, hihingin niya yung credentials niyo. So what do you mean credentials, ma'am? So the credentials are, which is the username po and the password. Okay, so um, for this, we I am referring to the UCMETC students. So ito yung campus code niyo, uh, UC, UCMT. And then, sorry, um, and then yung ID number nyo. So, um, na, mali yung nailagay ko dito. Ayan. So, ang gagawin nyo guys, uh, magiging username nyo later on doon sa hands-on training natin will be UCMT. Ayan. Uh, the letter should be in all capital letters. And then, it has also a character or symbol which is dash. And then, kindly uh, use your ID number. So, ano ba yung ID number nyo? Yun yung ginagamit nyo doon sa, yung nakalagay sa ID nyo. <laughs> and so, that's the ID number that you have. And the password, the default password is capital U, C, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yeah, take note of those credentials later on. Gagawin natin yan on the hands-on training. Ayan. Okay, so... Second thing is, dun sa agenda natin, um, we will uh, check your resources as a student account. Ayan. So, you, we can check the announcement, the links, the attendance. Ayan. So, ano ba, yung mga, ano ba yung mga ito? Guys, ito yung activities and resources na gaga, activities na gagawin nyo and resources na mag-view nyo and you can use them on your own reference. Ayan. So, papakita ko din siya kung para saan yung mga ganitong resources na sinasabi ko. And especially, um, kapag yung mga activities na yun, uh, the, your teacher require you to uh, do the certain task like submitting an assignment and taking uh, quizzes. So, these are the assessments. Yung assessment na, assessment na tinatawag is the assignment and the quiz. So, for viewing purposes, you can check also your grades. Then, you can take a survey required by your instructor or teacher. And, and then, um, I will show you the second uh, uh, way for you to access your LMS account using the Moodle mobile app. Okay. So, um, before we jump in, I'd like to share to you about the Moodle mobile app first. And so, ano ba yung ginagawa ng Moodle mobile app? Ayan. So, same functionality lang siya, but uh, we, we prefer na kapag, take note of this guys, na kapag mag-view lang kayo for viewing purposes, uh, Moodle Mobile App is suitable for that. Ayan. So, the Moodle Mobile App has a features of to easily access course content. You can also connect with uh, your classmate, especially your teacher, if you have uh, concerns or queries about the topics and about the subject, you may use the Moodle Mobile app to connect to your teacher. And also, you can submit assignment. Yeah, pwede din naman siya. Um, then you can track your progress and you can complete activities anytime, anywhere. So that's the um, feature of the Moodle Mobile app. Since uh, I know 
the smartphones uh, is a luxury for you and it is uh, an important part, part for you guys to use the smartphone nowadays. Ayan. So uh, in that case, for viewing purposes lang siya, we recommend uh, to use the Moodle mobile app for uh, viewing purposes. But if you will uh, do such activities na mabigat, like the taking of quiz, and then also kung uh, yung mga assignments as well, and we recommend to use you uh, use the uh, larger screens like the laptop and desktop as well. Ayan. So, kaya siya viewing purposes kasi mas madali niyong ma-access siya. Kasi nasa app, nag, uh, ma-access niyo siya via app and then nasa smartphone niyo na din siya or tablets as well. Okay, so the Moodle mobile app is available on uh, Google Play Store. That's for Android devices. App Store for iOS devices. And then, uh, if you are using Huawei device, you can download the Moodle mobile app in the Huawei app gallery. Okay. So, uh, I think that's it. So, this is now the exciting part. So, let's go live and we can now have the hands-on training. Okay. So, before anything else, um, do you have, uh, I would like to check the question and answer if there are, uh, I'd like to entertain two questions. Okay. Uh, I think some of them are now uh, question related to the um, training already, not the presentation. Okay. Okay, so I see also a bit a different concern here. Again, if you have other concerns um, not related to our topic today, kindly um, check the details that uh, Ms. Acela sent to you using the chat box. Okay, those, uh, those are the contact details, the Facebook page, the email address, and the contact number. Please uh, coordinate with them for you to uh, relay those concerns that's not related to LMS. Okay, so, okay, so let me just uh, share another screen. Okay, so, um, guys, kahit pa ulit ulit yung sinasabi ko, and so for you to be familiarized with. So uh, the first um, way for us to access the LMS account, your LMS account, is via web browser. So if you may recall also uh, from the student orientation that we have handled last week, and so we shown you some of the web browsers that are uh, commonly used. So one thing is the Google Chrome. I think you're familiar with this. And then also we have Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer, but I think wala na siya. So <laughs> ang sumunod is Microsoft Edge. And next is Safari for iOS um, devices. You can use that one as well if you prefer that one. And we have also other web browsers. And so if you have Opera, you have um, yeah, those are the other web browsers that we are using. But uh, in my case, I'm using Google Chrome. And so, saan ba natin ilalagay yung URL? So, this is the address bar. And then, you may type here the uh, URL link, so which is uh, this one. So, universityofcebu.eatingsites.com. And so, again, uh, for this training, um, you may also do what uh, I am doing also in your own. So, kung may gamit po kayong devices dyan, you can do it as well para, maka, para makasunod po tayo. Ayan. Okay. So, as uh, you've entered the uh, site, so, eto muna yung magpapakita. Ayan. Wherein, um, from time to time, uh, so you can also see the changes. Ayan. So, since ang mayayari is papalitan pa yung ibang pictures, ayan. 
so that it will be customizable to your school. Ayan. So as you can see also here, the logo of your school. And then, you, paano pag magla-login na po tayo? So pl please click this one, the login link, and then you will be directed to the login page. So this is now the login page na sinasabi ko. So the, oh, why login page? Because you will need to enter your credentials uh, for you to uh, log in in the system. <laughs> Ayan. So uh, in my case, again, yung format natin kanina, UC, uh, MT, and then dash, the uh, eight numbers of your um, ID number. And then the default password is UC1234. Ayan. So, um, I'll give you two to three minutes for you to log in. Ayan. So, in my case, gagamitin ko yung account ko. Up. Ayan. Palitan natin. Ayan. Okay. So, once na na-enter nyo na correctly, ayan. Just click the login button. So, my instance kasi na baka hindi kayo makapasok, the invalid login, and all of the errors that you will be uh, encountering. So, my tendency kasi na baka mali yung username nyo, baka mali yung password na na-input, and then my tendency na baka wala pa kayong account. For those um, concerns, ayan, um, since uh, your school will be giving you your access, again, you can contact them with uh, those uh, contact details that we've provide, provided po. Ayan. So, since nakapasok na po tayo dito sa system, this is now the main dashboard. Ito yung tawag na dito. So, once na nakapasok na kayo doon sa uh, system, which is the learning management system, ayan, ito na po siya. So, as you can see here, you can see your profile image kung wala pa blank pa siya. And then you can see here your uh, full name. And then you can see here several icons also. This is the main icons and uh, this is also the UC logo. And the top section you can see here. And this is the navigation drawer. On the left uh, side of the screen, this is called the navigation drawer. So, how will you minimize and maximize this one? Using po ng ating burger icon. So, um, in our previous also na orientation, we emphasized this one. Uh, in using the burger icon, uh, this is one of the powerful icons that you will use to be familiarized also with uh, para ma uh, easily navigate to yung platform. Okay, so I will show you also some of, some of the shortcuts that you need to know in accessing the platform. Okay, so in the lower part of the uh, of your main dashboard, you can see here the recently accessed courses and then the private files. Yeah, timeline. So ano pa yung timeline is hindi siya yung parang sa social media accounts niyo guys. The timeline here is what are the activities uh, that are upcoming activities that you need to uh, comply. So, andito siya. So, kailangan yung, ano yung mga activities na yon So, just like this one, the real-time chat. Later on, papasok tayo sa course, sa demo course natin. Ayan. And then, you can see here, some of the online users. So, we have one five, less than one five online users. If you are here, <laughs> ayan. Uh, yung mga students. Actually, students yung mga yan, lahat. Ayan. And as you can see here also, at the lower part, you can see here the calendar events. Yan yung mga upcoming events also. So, ano ba yung mga ito, yung nakabox na yan? These are called your blocks na tinatawag. You may customize them as well here in this page para pagka-landing nyo, pagka-login nyo, ano yung mga gusto nyo makita agad na updates. Yan, pwede siya dito. And so you may explore this kind of uh, this uh, functionality inside your um, account later on. So uh, the important part here is I would like to show you around and 
I would like to show you how to access your courses, especially yung mga activities and resources na um, ibibigay sa inyo ng teacher nyo. Okay, so let's start first with the, if, if you remember the agenda. So the first agenda is since nakapasok tayo sa account nyo, sa platform, first uh, agenda would be the yung edit your profile. Okay, so as you can see here at the top section of the platform, you can see here your full name as well and then the small uh, image of your profile. You can see here two icons. I'll just maximize that one for you to see. Okay. So, ito yung dalawang icons na sinasabi ko. This is the notification bell and this is the uh, instant messaging uh, drawer. And So, pag once i-click natin to, you, it will uh, show you a box with uh, your notification. So, um, I would like to click this one for us to set up the notification feature. Ayan. But later on, uh, mamaya muna natin yan uh, i-set kasi uh, we would like first to check your profile or to edit your profile. I'd like to uh, open this one. So as you can see here, yung small, small na arrow pababa. And just click that button, small button, and then may magpapakita din na small uh, box. And so these are the shortcuts as well. And if you want to um, control the settings also of your account, you may click the preferences. But let's go first to the profile because I'll show you how to edit your profile. Okay, so uh, since mali it yung size natin we can also click this one for us to maximize the whole screen and minimize naman yung navigation drawer okay so this is now your profile section or profile page and uh, you can see here some of the details about your profile so the user details is about your profile the course details is uh, the courses that you are enrolled okay so Yan ito guys, may term kasi dito sa platform natin, kapag sinabing course, yun yung mga subjects nyo. Ayan, so pag sinabing course, again, yun yung subjects nyo. Kasi etong mga to, kunwari, uh, the student 1, or eto, etong profile ko is student 1, so naka-enroll ako sa 5 subjects. So, science, uh, physics 101, then math, the algeb algebra. So, kunwari, yan yung mga subjects ko. So, dapat ang magpapakita dito sa course uh, details ko is yung physics 101 tsaka yung math. Tapos, other subjects ko. Since dapat, uh, kung naka-enroll ako na, ng limang subjects, dapat limang courses din ang magpapakita dito. So, don't worry also. Uh, the uh, courses that you are enrolled dapat yung kung ano din yung mga subjects na in-enroll nyo. Ayan, automatic yan pag once na uh, ilalag, malag in yun na yung account nyo. But for this training, guys, uh, you are first uh, enrolled to the student training course, which is this will be the demo course that we will be using later on. And this is the learner orientation. Ito, guys, yung guide nyo about the learning management system. Uh, papakita ko din siya kung ano yung mga laman nito later on. Ayan. So, those are the course details. And second is the login activity. So, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, may logs din kayo dito. Pero, um, the first and last access, access nyo lang on this site, which is, this is the platform. So, ako is, ang first login ko, napakita dito, na ilag siya. So, that's nung Sunday, yan, hapon. Ayan. Tapos, yung last access ko up to now, which is today, ayan, nagpapakita dyan. Okay. So, um, punta mo na tayo sa user details. Just click the edit profile. And then, may magpapakita. I 
uh, redirect kayo dito sa edit profile page. So this is the general section and the user picture section. So ito lang muna yung gagalawin natin guys later on. If you want to add more details of your profile, you can uh, add this one as well. Ayan. So for now, ito muna yung titignan natin. So, so you can see here, we have three icons na ganito ang itsura, red, which is meaning nito is required na kailangan yung i-fill up. So the first name, the last name, and the email address. So for changing of the email address, unahan ko na kayo guys, yung kung gusto nyong palitan, yung email address na nakalagay dito sa account nyo, is you need to contact first your uh, teacher and then they will uh, relay the, your concern to the site admin of the campus, which is the UCMETC, or you can directly email them using the email address that we've provided uh, so that you want to change your email address. But guys, the email address na, papalit, na ipapalit nyo dapat should be valid and active. Why? May tendency kasi na um, pag ilalagay nyo yung email address nyo, eh, hindi naman siya active, hindi yun na-open. Um, hindi nyo na din kasi ma-receive yung mga recent updates about uh, the platform. So, kunwari, kahit naman na-receive yun dito, but uh, still, may uh, kailangan pa rin uh, i-activate yung um, mga updates nyo using your active and valid email address. Ayan. So, um, also, kapag mag-reset, may i-reset nyo yung password, hindi nyo, malam, hindi nyo na makal, uh, nakalimutan nyo yung password nyo dito sa account nyo, LMS account nyo. Ayan, your uh, site admin may tendency na dun niya i-send yung password. So, you need to be mindful of those things also. Just like your uh, social media sites as well. Parang ganon din siya. Uh, for the security also of your account. Ayan. So, next thing is, if may kita nyo dito sa baba, uh, ito na yung mga optional, but uh, for especially yung country and time zone, uh, we do recommend na ito yung uh, dapat na uh, field. So, uh, uh, select the country which is uh, Philippines and especially ito guys the time zone. Kung papalitan nyo ito kasi di ba ang time zone po natin is GMT plus 8. So kung papalitan nyo to guys kung uh, ipapalit nyo ng ibang time zone may tendency na uh, hindi nyo ma-access yung mga activities na bin binigay ni teacher nyo. Kasi either late kayo or advanced kayo doon sa uh, pag-access ng mga activities na yun. Ayan. So, if you want also to add a description, you can also add this one, description about yourself, ganyan, pwede dito, sa section na ito. Then you can add um, as many <laughs> paragraphs that you want. <laughs> okay, so the user picture as well, if you want to change uh, the, your image, your profile image, so we suggest also na yung user image nyo, Dapat sana is yung uh, uh, valid siya, yung parang mga one by one, two by two na IDs nyo. Para at least mas madali kasi kayong makilala ng teacher nyo. Ayan. Um, also, you can add a picture description. So, as is ko na lang yung picture ko. Ayan. So, yung mga wala pang picture guys, I'll give you two minutes to do that. Ayan. You can add your email, uh, sorry, the user ID using uh, this icon and you may drag and drop here para mas madali siya. Ayan. Okay, so I think yung iba naka, naka ano na yata? Naka gawa na or naidagdag na yung uh, profile image nila. So, once na okay na siya, just click the update profile, which is this one. Tapos, ma-update na yung profile nyo. 
So you will be directed again to the uh, edit profile page. Ayan. So next thing is, uh, ano naman yung mga itong icon sa to? Ayan. So this is the notification kanina. The second agenda that... Uh, so now we are done with the editing of your profile and image, profile image. So next thing is yung notification naman. So how can you set the notification feature? So as you can see here, we have two icons. This is the mark as red. Uh, parang pag once na may mga notification kayo at gusto nyo naka, nabasa, parang nabasa nyo na lang lahat, you can click this one for you to uh, and highlight them. Ayan. Tapos next thing, ito yung may kita yung parang settings icon or gear icon. Dito sa LMS natin, ang tawag niya dyan is notification preferences. Ayan. So every now and then, may mga may kita kayong icons na ganito. Ayan. Depende yan kung saan feature siya. Tsaka kung anong function niya. Okay. So let's just click the notification preferences. And then as you can see here, Ato may mga um, notifications na tsaka per nakakategorize siya per activities and as a system. So, in your case, ayan, especially the first uh, four na activities, yung activities na to, which is the assignment, feedback, forum, and lesson, you may turn them on. Ayan, para ma-access nyo siya via web and may marireceive din kayong notification via email. So, uh, in line with dun sa sinasabi ko kanina na valid and active na email address, may mga marireceive kayong um, email notification coming from the platform na, kunwari may assignment na binigay si teacher, ayan, magsasend din sa email nyo na may uh, gagawin dapat kayong assignment. Ayan. So, kahit online and offline yan, kahit uh, kunwari sa web is kahit nakalag out na kayo, it means may, ma may marireceive pa rin kayo. Kahit kapag ka-online nyo. Ayan. Okay. So, um, on nyo lang to lahat. Ayan. So, pagka-click nyo, automatically it will be on. Pag i-click nyo ulit, ayan, mag-off siya. Ayan. So, once na naka-on na to lahat, ayan, assignment, feedback, forum, and lesson, Please uh, disregard the system notification. Ayan. Um, later on, i-explore nyo na lang po ito. Ayan. So, ito, I'll just give you one minute for you to turn on all of the notifications in assignment, feedback, forum, and lessons. Ito yung mga activities na yun. Ayan. So, as you scroll down, yan, may may kita pa kayo. Okay. So, after that, once na naset nyo na lahat, na naka-on na yung mga activities, ayan. So, if you also prefer not to receive those notifications, you can click this one for uh, those notifications, lahat ng naka-turn on dito, mag-off lahat yan in just one clicking with this one. Ayan. So, if you prefer lang din naman. Ayan. So, but uh, for me, I'd like to receive uh, notifications from assignment, feedback, forum, and lesson. Okay. So, next thing is, if you are done with the notification preferences, you may click uh, also this one, the messaging drawer or the instant messaging, tinatawag. So, anong gamit na to, guys, for you to contact your um, teacher and the classmates uh, referring to the to the subjects if you have concerns also and kung may gusto kayong i-inquire ayan you may ask them using the messenger uh, or the instant messaging of the platform so may kita nyo dito uh, na yung naka green kayo means online kayo and then uh, if may if naka group kayo may kita nyo dito din may mga uh, papakita din na group conversation. And if you want to send a private message to your instructor, to your classmate, ayan, pwede siya. 
So, may may kita ka ding status na naka-offline pa si yung teacher. Ayan. So, nag-send na ako ng um, parang heads up to my teacher na naisend ko na assignment. Parang ganon yung mga uh, pwede nyong um, i-send using the messenger. Okay. So, um, ang purpose also na to, guys, because of the learning management system, lahat na ng kailangan nyo is nandito na. So, you don't need to open any sites para lang mak matapos nyo yung activity. So, andito na lahat ng kailangan nyo. Okay. So, after we uh, check some of the icons here, yung notification, yung... Uh, messenger, tapos yung nag-edit na po tayo ng um, account natin. So, next thing on the agenda is how will you now check if uh, uh, yung mga subjects nyo or yung mga courses nyo is naka-enroll na kayo. Ayan. So, using again the burger icon and burger icon, click nyo lang ulit para magpakita si navigation drawer. Ayan. So, um, one how can you go back to the dashboard page? So, ito, may uh, shortcut din tayo dyan. Using the navigation drawer, you may click the dashboard. The second thing also is, kung may may kita kayong links dito below uh, ng, ng pangalan nyo, ito siya, the dashboard. So, babalik din kayo doon sa dashboard page. So, kung ano yung prefer nyo, pwedeng nandito sa navigation drawer, and pwede din dito sa uh, baba nung, yung mga links na may kita nyo. Ayan. So, since na kabalik na ako dito sa dashboard page, ayan, ang i-access na natin on how we can see all of the courses that you are enrolled is using the navigation drawer. Dito siya. Okay. So, if you can see here, the My Courses, tapos meron siyang sa baba niya, ito yung mga subjects na sinasabi ko, naka-enroll naka kayo. Pero, yung term natin dito is courses. Ayan. So, uh, for this one, dalawa lang yung naka-enroll ako na course. So, ito yung gagamitin natin for our demo course later and the learner orientation. So, pakita ko muna yung learner orientation. Yung learner orientation kasi na course, this is the course or this will be your guide. And yes, nyo lang ito. Again, this will be your guide in navigating the platform. Ayan, so taas lang natin. So, you can read also the objectives of this course. And para maka-familiarize kayo more on how to use the platform. Ayan. Tapos, uh, all of the students are enrolled here. Ayan. Kasi every now and then, prior to the training ngayon, kung may mga nakalimutan kayong gawin, yung nakalimutan uh, nyo, tapos pwede nyo balikan itong course na to para may, uh, may, may user guide kayo. Ayan. So as you can see here also, di, dito sa baba, may mga tiles or boxes. This is called tiles. So, tiles are also organized in a way na lahat ng activities na kailangan nyo andito sa loob. Para siyang folder na lahat ng requirements nyo andun nakalagay. Ayan. So, every now and then, this will, um, ganito din yung may kita nyo kapag doon sa mismong course ng teacher nyo kung saan kayo naka-enroll. So, kunwari, doon sa algebra, um, nakalagay siya as chapter 1, tapos andito na lahat yung resources and activities na gagawin nyo. So, the next box or yung next na tile is yung um, chapter 2 naman. So, parang ganun siya. Ayan. So, again, your teachers will do the course and then automatic po na naka-enroll na po kayo doon. Okay. So, I'd like to show you first uh, this first box or the first tile which is the getting started. Um, you can also explore this one later on kasi dito uh, ipapakita the introduction of Moodle, what is Moodle, and especially this one, the FAQs. Kung may mga tanong kayo, maliban doon sa sasagutan ko mamaya ng mga queries nyo about the LMS, is meron din kayong mababasa dito, the FAQs. Okay. So also, the, um, 
one of the activity or resources that you can uh, access inside ng platform is uh, these kinds of multimedia files, which is videos and audios. So, papakita ko muna itong uh, video na to for you to check. Kasi uh, most of the activities also will be embedded. Again, so no need for you guys to open a another browser, another tab. And then, again, andito na lahat ng kailangan nyo provided by your teacher, yung mga resources na yun. Okay. So, let's try to play this one. Okay, so those, these are the examples. Welcome to Learner Orientation to Moodle. This video will provide you with an overview of the course and will share basic navigation tips. By the end of the course, you should be able to recognize course features you may encounter in your courses, identify Moodle tools such as URLs, files, videos, and audio files, and recall Moodle activities such as forums, quizzes, and assignments. This course is intended to be navigated from to the bottom as activities build upon each other. In the main area of the course, you will find the course content. On the left hand side, you will find the navigation drawer or the navigation block, depending on your Moodle look and feel. If you have the navigation drawer, you can dock it in order to see more of the course content. You may also have additional blocks on the right-hand side of your screen, as this is dependent on your organization. The course is broken up into topics. Please be sure to click into each activity or resource within all the topics, as this course is built with activity completion. Activity completion is indicated with the small checkboxes to the right of each activity or resource. Some items will check off automatically as you meet activity completion settings. However, some boxes you will need to check off manually. We hope you enjoy learning more about Moodle and exploring some of the functionality you may experience in your courses. Okay, so yan, yan yung um, the introductory video about how can you access uh, the contents inside na ating um, platform. So, as uh, you go along also with uh, this course guide, ayan, pwede nyo i-check pa yung ibang resources dito, yung tiles. And uh, you can also um, participate in some of the activities that is uh, included here. Ayan. So, and so, ito yung learner's orientation na pwede nyo magamit as a student. Okay, so let's proceed. So that's one, uh, ito yung important also na course na na-discuss na, na ko. Kasi, again, lahat ng students is naka-enroll dito. Ito yung magsisilbing guide nyo for navigating the platform. Okay, so let's proceed now with the demo training course that we've prepared and yeah, so for the sake of the training again uh, also uh, students are are also enrolled here but with the actual na courses nyo na guys doon na din kayo ma-enroll right away ayan so uh, minimize lang natin tong navigation drawer so in this setup dito sa ating student training course hindi lang ganito yung pwede niyong makita. Depends on the course made by your teacher. Ayan, so yung teacher ko kasi ito yung ginawa niyang demo course na naka-enroll ako. So, as a student, um, I need to comply with the different activities that my teacher um, deployed here inside ng ating course page. So, Pag once, guys, na nakapasok na kayo sa courses ng mga yon, yung naka-enroll kayo under my courses, yan, makikita nyo dito na um, eto na yung tinatawag na course page. Ayan. So, course page, andito na lahat ng contents na kailangan nyo. And then also, it has also tiles here. So, your teacher may organize them. So, per chapters, per units, per topics. Ayan. Para mas madali nyo ma-locate yung mga activities intended for each topic. 
Ayan. So, um, this is now the second agenda, which is the uh, navigating and checking your resources, the activities and resources deployed by your teacher. Okay, so let's start first with the announcement. Ayan, so may kita nyo dito yung announcement na to. Ito yung icon niya. Ayan, so pag once din na may kita nyo na naka-underline siya, meaning link siya or um, kailangan yung i-access. Ayan, so let's open first the announcement. So si teacher, may announcement siyang um, ginawa. Makikita nyo dito under as a brief uh, summary of the announcement that your teacher made. So, eto, this is about the reminder for a student training. And then, your teacher, ayan, ginawa niya nung specific date. And then, sino din yung last na nag-post. May kita nyo dito kung sino yung mga nag-reply. Um, so, for you to open that specific announcement, just click again the discussion topic. Tapos, makikita nyo dito yung additional details about doon sa announcement na ginawa ng teacher nyo. Ayan. So, you may reply as well. And if you just want to leave it at, at as is, ayan, parang makikita naman ni teacher na nabasa naman niya yung announcement na ginawa niya. Okay. Sa account niya, of course. Ayan. So, if you are done, um, uh, reading the announcement na ginawa ni teacher, pwede kayong bumalik doon sa uh, course page nyo. Again, by using the shortcuts here. So, ano yung pangalan ulit ng course page natin? The student training course. So, pwede tayong bumalik doon. Dito. Ayan. So, since natapos nyo nang mabasa yung announcement, Ayan. So, yung announcement kasi ma, makikita nyo din dito once na ma-access nyo yung course page. Ayan. So, uh, next thing is the attendance also. So, every now and then, your teacher may require you to take the attendance. So, attendance is one of the activities also that you will uh, participate in accessing the course of your teacher. Ayan. So, May kita niyo may additional instructions or description about the attendance. So, once you're inside this course, please take and record your attendance. So, ito yung um, pwedeng makita niyong instruction. Ayan. So, once na i-access niyo attendance, just click uh, the link para makapasok kayo doon sa attendance na activity. And then, uh, since kahapon, ayan, nakapag-submit ako ng uh, attendance ko. So, it has two points already. So, the attendance also may be graded by your teacher. And then, makikita nyo kailangan uh, lahat ng dates na to, a attendance, um, kailangan mag-attendance ako. Okay. So, you can see also a, a status of the attendance. Ayan. So, my percentage and then my points as well. So, for today, since 8 to 5 ang klase na yon. Ayan, dito sa course page na to. Ayan, tapos may description siya. And then, if you can see here, hindi pa ako nagsasubmit na attendance ko. So, I need to submit my attendance. Just click the submit attendance link. And then, you can see here, ayan, may kita nyo na, you, as a student, just um, i-record nyo na na-present kayo. Ayan. Click nyo lang yan. Kasi, if you can see, guys, the uh, mark here is required. So, hindi naman pwede kayong mag-absent kasi wala naman siyang option na absent. So, ayan. So, present siya. And then, you just click save changes. Also, please be mindful that uh, your teacher also may uh, check your attendance dito. Kasi kahit ginawa yung present, baka mamaya hindi rin kayo nakapag- uh, uh, hindi nyo rin siya in-access. So, kung na rin na-access na lang siya after, after 5 p.m., may tendency na hindi nyo na din siya ma-click, meaning absent na kayo. So, may mga ganong settings. Again, upon the settings of your teacher, doon niya ilalagay yung mga settings na yon Tapos, ay sasabihin na lang niyo yung instructions on how you will um, access 
to certain activities. Just like this one, yung attendance. Ayan. So, uh, makikita nyo din na nag-iba na yung uh, status natin dito. Kanina, isa lang. Tapos, uh, ngayon, 4 over 4 na yung uh, points nyo. And then, 100% na yung sessions. Ayan. So, you can check also uh, the past sessions. And then, uh, per month, week, and day. Ayan. Lahat din, pwede nyo i-click ito para ma-view nyo kung ano yung mga attendance na kailangan yung um, attendance. Ayan. So, um, you are done taking your attendance. May may kita kayo dito ang blue notification na your attendance in the session has been recorded. So, yan, makikita din ni teacher yan kasi nakalagay dito from 8 to 5, present kayo dun sa session na yun. Ayan. So, as uh, may, may is, ibang students din kasi nagtatanong na, Kailangan pa ba namin mag-attendance? Kasi nakita naman ni teacher na uh, online ako. So, may certain um, instructions kasi na baka may ma-miss kayong instructions. So, you need still to comply with those um, activities. Ayan, just like uh, the attendance. So, kasi kung, kung yan, if may graded pa siya or my points, uh, may tendency na ma-miss niyo yung points and then, syempre baka uh, idadagdag yan sa um, points nyo. Ayan. So, may mga ganong ten, uh, may mga ganong cases also. But then, uh, lahat kasi ng activities naman dito, dito sa ating course page is um, ginagawa naman ni teacher. Ayan. Tapos, uh, students will now view and then also answer those, uh, they need to participate in those activities. Ayan. Especially yung assessment, yung sinabi ko kanina. Okay. So, we are done with the attendance. Let's uh, again go back to the student training course na course page. Ayan, click nyo lang ulit to. Tapos, um, since natapos na tayo sa attendance, um, we, we can now see also other activities here, just like forum. So as you can see, may mga um, unread posts. Tapos, meron tayo ditong question. So, this is one forum as well. So, makikita nyo parang parehas yung icon ng announcement sa forum. So, if you will, uh, also, if your instructor will give you the instruction to access this certain activity, ayan, huwag, nyo, huwag kayong malilito kasi um, sasabihin naman ni teacher nyo yung mga ganitong uh, activities. Ayan, na kailangan nyo i-comply. So, let's uh, check this one. This is one forum for you to participate also. Okay. So, um, since na-open ko yung forum na ito, kasi may question siya. So, hello everyone. Thank you for your participation. Ito may additional instruction si teacher. In this activity, you are required to provide an answer to the question. So, ito yung question natin. What is your expectation for this training? So, some of you um, are already inside this course and then since na open nyo itong activity na to you can um, participate also in this uh, type of activity which is the forum so ito yung discussion and so may nag last na post which is uh, this is the student and then maraming nag reply ayan so you can also subscribe if you want to para ma-receive nyo lang yung um, mga uh, mga post na updated post regarding dito sa discussion na to. So also, if you can see here, um, this is one icon that uh, you can use all uh, that you can see in inside the platform. This is the kebab icon. And kasi kanina burger icon, tas ngayon kebab. <laughs> okay, so ayan, ayan yung mga icons na ginagamit uh, system terms. Ayan. So, pag naklik nyo din ito, guys, may may kita kayong start this, this discussion and mark as red. Ayan. So, pwede nyo, kunwari, since puno na yung notifications na nagpakita kanina, so, pwede nyo mark as red also kasi meaning nabasa nyo lahat na yung mga post nila. Ayan. Tapos, if you want to, um, if you want also to, ayan, nakita nyo kanina, may 200 dito kanina na unread post. Ngayon, nabasa nyo na siya. So, meaning, 
may mga 3,500 ang nag-reply. Ayan. So, um, pag gusto nyong magdagdag naman ng sagot, ayan, just click this uh, link, the question link. Tapos, habang naglo-load siya, Okay, tayo natin mag-load. So, later on, before we will have, uh, after we have we've had the uh, morning break, ayan, uh, sasagutin ko yung other queries nyo on the Q&A section. Okay, so while waiting, let's uh, open it again. Um, I think... Uh, your other classmates also is um, answering, uh, giving their answer in this forum activity. And so I can, uh, you can also do that one. And so, pwede din kayong sumagot. So I'll, I can give you two to five minutes. Ayan. Para ilagay nyo din yung mga sagot nyo dito. <clears throat> so again, these are the activities that you can uh, participate also. Yan, your teacher can see these activities para din uh, makita niya na you are uh, accessing the activities that they've deployed. Ayan. So, let's uh, just wait. Ayan, medyo nag-load siya. Um, okay. So, uh, yung mga, yung ito, yung last post kasi, yung may kita yung last post, kung sino yung last na nag-post yan, ito yung magpapakita. Not necessary na kayo yung magpapakita dito kasi lahat din, uh, simultaneous din yung mga um, part, yung users na na pumasok din dito sa activity na to tapos kung sino yung last na nag-post dito, eto din yung magpapakita. And so, while waiting, I can um, entertain some of the questions also. And so, okay, let's uh, check Upon submitting, ah, okay, later on, sa assignment natin yan gagawin. Ayan, for the assignment, uh, assessment yan. So, how to access Moodle in PC? Okay, uh, this is uh, one. Okay, so I can answer this one. So, how to access Moodle in PC? So, maliban doon sa... Um, Sinabi ko kanina ng mga apps and also um, two ways for you to access your LMS account. You can also download an app um, for Moodle. Ayan, if you are using now your uh, laptop or desktop, your PC. So, yung pangalan ng app na yun is Moodle Desktop. So, this the if you are using... Windows operating system. So, download nyo yun sa Microsoft Store. And then, uh, later on, kung may spare time pa tayo, pwede kong ipakita kung paano nyo i-access yung Moodle desktop. Ayan. Okay, so, while waiting, matagal pa. Hindi pa siya naglo-load. So, let me just uh, force refresh this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so balikan lang natin ulit. Natin kung mag-respond siya. Ayan, so may mga tendencies na. Uh, may mga ma-encounter kayong ganito. So matagal siya mag-load. Ayan, so some of the factors also... Uh, will arise in encountering this uh, error. So, first thing is, uh, baka mahina yung signal nyo. <coughs> Sorry. Yung sa, 
yung sa, sa ginag uh, naka connect kayo na inter, uh, dun sa naka connect na yun na internet so may tendency na mabagal siya second is um maraming nag-access ng activity na to ayan so may tendency na naglo-load siya pero in my case ayan i am experiencing also an intermittent connection here in our area because it is uh, raining po pala so yan isang factor po ayan so let's i'll just uh, wait for it to be loaded and check ko lang kung responsive po siya and but in your end hopefully you uh, already um, answered you have already answered this type of uh, activity yung sa forum natin and just click the discussion link tapos uh, may magpapakita doon na reply but uh, while waiting sana mag-load siya para magawa natin yon okay so other concerns we have um ayan, how to pass document or assignment via Moodle app later on also and papakita ko din yan um, since nasa uh, web browser pa lang tayo mamaya dun sa Moodle mobile app yan okay. so one concern also you said that Google Google mobile app is only for viewing the course and kung mabigat ng mga quizzes or assignments we require to use laptops or PC kung wala kaming laptops or PC ma'am how can we send big files para makasubmit Okay, um, if you are referring only for the submission of assignment, you can do that in the mobile app. Ayan. So, papakita ko din siya later on dun sa um, training natin for Moodle mobile app. Ayan. So, um, kasi yung quiz kasi, usually talagang, um, kaila, it, it needs a lot of interaction also since uh, may tendency na uh, yung settings kasi ng quizzes nyo is uh, syempre binigay yan ng teacher so um, much better also for you to answer properly the questions is you need a larger screen for that talaga and based on experience also hindi siya ideal for um, yung mga quizzes na to hindi siya ideal uh, for the smaller screens and kasi syempre if also your teacher has allotted a time limit for those assessments yung yung quiz nyo mauubos talaga yung ano nyo kaka kaka zoom in zoom out gamit yung mga ano natin smaller screens so yun yung mga example of a heavy activities kasi may tendency din na um, long quiz din yung ibibigay ni teacher nyo so Tapos, kunwari, 15 minutes lang siya. <laughs> so, may tendency talaga na mauubos yung oras niyo pagka i-access niyo Okay, so, again, while waiting, let me just check again. Bakit uh, mag matagal mag-load? So, na-stuck tayo. I think it's, uh, it's just me na na-stuck dun sa, ano natin, sa platform. So, I'll just force refresh this one. Let's try to open. Ayun. So, we encounter again another error. Ayan. So, may mga error again na ganito. Matagal lang siya mag-respond. Ayan yung isa. Okay. So, oh, okay, the system. And, um... I'd like to show you for this kind of concern, issue, na ma-encounter nyo. Sana hopefully hindi na nyo ma-encounter in the uh, future. So, may, yung 504 gateway may tendency po kasi na um, since marami tayo nag-access uh, and then uh, ongoing pa po kasi yung ating update dito sa ating platform. So, may tendency na uh, hindi naman siya nag-crash but again, marami lang nag-access. And then the second factor also is yun update uh, ongoing pa yung update kasi we are still um, updating 
the platform for you also to pag once na okay na yung actual classes na yan para magamit niyo talaga fully yung ating platform so yan so nakita niyo nag uh, bumalik ulit siya sa dati ayan so iba na yung kanina de ba si Kevin na siya ngayon si Christian na yung last na nag-post ayan so Let's uh, wait again. So, paano nga ba kayo mag-reply dito sa forum activity? So, just click the uh, question link ayan, under sa discussion. Ayan. So, kanina um, maiba tayo. Yung kanina yung na-experience nating error ng site is again, marami lang nag access and then again, ongoing pa yung update. Okay, so, uh, wag kayo mag-panic pag ganon yung mga na-receive nyong uh, error. Um, you can do a protocol wherein take a screenshot. And while waiting, uh, ito, in-explain ko lang kung ano yung pwede nyong gawin. So, while uh, you've experienced those kinds of concerns, please take a screenshot kung ano yung error na yun. And then, you may relay the error to the site admin of the campus. After that, and they they will investigate and then ano yung pwede nilang i-troubleshoot tapos i um i-recommend nila na uh, ganito ang gawin mo from there once you have also troubleshoot uh, done the troubleshooting part yan babalik naman siya sa dati yan. and you can now access your account and you can access your um you can now access your uh courses yan so while waiting again so i think marami talagang nag expect uh, nagaano nito and so in my case i leave it that to you kasi um, for this forum pwede niyo naman siya ding balikan ayan kanina nagtagal mag open okay so balik tayo guys ayan so we are uh, back so in this forum activity ayan makikita nyo kung sino yung mga uh, mga nag-reply. Ayan, may kita niya din siya, yung mga classmates niya, baka nag-reply dito. So, as you can see here, kanina sa announcement, permalink lang tama, yung nakalagay, di ba? So, for this forum naman, you can now reply and uh, answer doon sa question na binigay. Ayan, so let's try to reply also. Here, so doon din sa mga nagbigay na ng reply nila, pwede din kayo mag-reply sa kanila. Kasi this is a forum wherein you can collaborate, you can participate also kung ano yung mga um, gusto, nyong i, um, gusto nyong ibigay na opinion about the uh, question. Ayan. So, eto pwede din gawin ni teacher eto sa inyo para at least may collaboration kayo kahit eto yung ginagawa nyo activity inside the course page. Ayan. So, So you can see, ayan, medyo matagal lang siya mag-load kasi again, ayan, pwede na lang natin basahin yung ibang uh, replies dito. Ayan. Okay. Okay. Ayan, may mga uh, students na gustong uh, maging proficient in using the Moodle app. Ayan, expectation. Okay. Ayan. So, para matagal siya. Ayan. So, kaya may mga... Oh, yun. Click reply. Ayan. So, pag nag-reply na kayo, guys, eto siya magpapakita. The subject and the message that, that you would like to um, to uh, place. Ayan. So, I expect... So, I give you also, I think, yung, yung ibang participants, if you are done also, ayan. I'll just wait for the uh, next activity. And so, yung mga nakaka-access pa lang, I can give you two minutes to do this one. Expect to... Ayan. Ayan. Okay. So, pwede kayo mag-attach. And then, if you are done, ayan, post to forum para makita din ng ibang uh, classmate nyo. Ayan. So, let's wait to be posted. Okay, this activity is also real-time. Kasi makikita nyo kung uh, sino kayo-kayo mismo. As a whole class, pwede kayo mag-participate dito lahat. 
Ayan. Okay, so let's uh, wait para lang makita natin kung naitsura kapag nakapost na yung answer ko in this forum. And so we have uh, waiting agendas also. Yung download your file, your chat, and then the second is the submission of assignments. Ayan. Okay, so matagal siya. Ayan, nakaka-experience na tayo ng Ayan, intermittent connection also. Ayan. So, while waiting, ayun. So, if uh, you've already successfully uh, sent your post, ayan, may may kita kayong um, ganitong notification. Ayan. So, syempre kung gusto nyo tignan, nasa pinakadulo na siya. So, in my end, kahit hindi ko na siya makita kasi nakita ko naman na naka-upload na siya or na-post na siya. Ayan. So, yan yung isa sa mga activity na pwede niyong gawin. The next thing is, balik muna tayo sa uh, course page. Next activity is uh, how can you download um, your files? So, my tendency na si teacher is na-require niya kayong i-download yung certain file na to for your own copy. So, papakita ko muna is um, per file muna. And then second, papakita ko din kung paano nyo naman siya i-download as a whole. Lahat ng, uh, lahat ng materials na binigay ni teacher, hindi, kahit hindi nyo siya isa-isang i-download na. So, first thing muna is a certain file, how to, how to download uh, a, a file inside ng ating course page. So, my instruction dito, si teacher, download your own soft copy for your reference. So, ito yung tinutukoy ni teacher. Ayan. So, if you are inside the course page, you can also download your copy, your own copy, para may uh, copy kayo about the um, presentation ko kanina. Ayan. So, pag once na clinic nyo yun, yung uh, file na yun, magpapakita dito yung... Uh, overview of ano yung laman ng file. So, this is the PDF file. So, yan yung presentation natin kanina. Ayan. So, the download nyo lang siya for your own copy. So, kung may may kita kayo ditong icon, then dito din sa taas. So, this is the icon for the PDF. So, for this one, um, eto yung kailangan nyo i-click. Pwede naman eto, guys. Pwede din ito. Ayan. Kasi ito yung the icons here is uh, doon sa PDF natin. Pero for this one, this is the icons for the file. So, ito yung pwede yung pindutin for you to download your own copy. And then, mamaya magpapakita na checkmark na siya. Meaning, na-access na nyo yung file and na-download nyo na kasi. Ayan. So, pakita lang natin. So, kung may kita nyo, na-click ko yung link kanina, which is uh, the icon kanina. Tapos, may kita nyo dito sa baba, nagda-download na siya. Ayan. So, once na download na, pwede nyo i-close ito using the close button. Tapos, magpapakita siya dito. Ayan. So, I think iba yung... Ayan. Ayan. So, nakita nyo, uh, medyo late lang siya nagpa... Kita. So, once kasi na color green ito, guys, indicated na complete na yung status ng... Uh, pag-access nyo yung file na yon or activity. Okay. So, eto na yung na-download nating PDF file. Ayan. So, naka-save na to automatically doon sa downloads nyo. Sa um, downloads folder ninyo. Ayan. If you are using PC or desktop. Okay. So, close ko muna. Ayan. And so, how about now to download all of the files in just one clicking. So, um, click nyo lang muna itong navigation drawer. Tapos, pupunta muna tayo sa inyong private files. So, yung private files nyo is considered the LMS cloud storage. 
Ayan. So, click muna natin to guys. Uh, click nyo yung burger icon. Papakita yung navigation drawer. And then, scroll down lang po. Makikita nyo na yung private file. Sa taas lang po ni My Courses. Ayan. So, pag once na na-click nyo na yung private files, you will be directed to this page. Tanan, Wala pa. Ayan. So, uh, we have here other concern. The site's responsive is very slow at the moment. Yes, is as a few, as you've seen earlier, yan, ito siya. <laughs> Gateway timeout because marami tayong nag access and again, uh, um, ongoing pa yung update but kapag sa actual class nyo na guys, hindi nyo na, uh, may tendency na hindi nyo na din ma-encounter yon. But uh, we do recommend if you've encountered again some of those errors for system errors, please take a screenshot of uh, about the error. Tapos send nyo agad sa uh, site admin campus nyo or you may refer muna then sa teacher nyo bakit ganun yung na experience nyo. Para at least uh, ma-troubleshoot kung ano mismo yung uh, problem doon sa account nyo. Okay. So, going back po, um, eto na yung private files natin. Clinic ko lang yung navigation, uh, burger icon para ma-minimize yung navigation drawer. And so, we are now in the private files page. And kung may kita nyo dito, may mga um, files akong nailagay. So, your private files can be your cloud storage. So, you can store and up load your personal files here para mas madali nyo ding ma-access. Okay. So, as you can see, we have several icons also. If you want to add more uh, files, you may click this icon, the first icon here. And then, you can create your folder also para ma-organize ma nyo din yung mga files nyo inside your uh, private files. And this, the third icon, ito siya. Um, ito yung sinasabi kong how to, do to download all of your files in just one clicking. So, kailangan muna iselect nyo lahat ng mga files na kailangan yung ma-download. Tapos, click nyo lang itong download na icon. And then, it will generate Ayan. So, since ang mangyayari, guys, is uh, pag uh, ginamit niya itong download na button, mazazip siya. So, parang mangyayari, mailalagay siya sa isang lagayan. Tapos, yun na yung minsan ng download. Ayan. So, let's see. Dapat mag-download na siya dito. So, while loading, kasi nil, uh, ginagawa niya, kinoconvert niya into zip file. Tapos lahat ng etong files na to nakalagay dun sa zip file na yun. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if mapapansin nyo also guys, may kita niyo yung maximum, uh, uh, the overall limit of your cloud storage. Uh, for this one, your site admin will have the control for um, for this uh, private files that uh, you, you uh, that is allotted in your account so may may reason kasi to guys kasi lahat din naman ng resources na um, available doon sa course page nyo is ma access nyo naman doon so for this po kaya siya 100 100 MB lang Kasi kung ano lang talaga yung important files nyo na kailangan nyo every now and then na gusto nyo i-access dito sa LMS nyo, LMS account nyo, is yun lang yung, um, yun lang yung mga files nyo. Kaya uh, we recommend na if you want also to synchronize your uh, cloud storage um, accounts just like Google Drive, OneDrive, ayan, and other uh, cloud storage Providers. Ayan. Pwede naman siya. Ayan. Okay. So, matagal siya mag-download because, again, we are experiencing uh, intermittent connection. So, hindi naman po siya blurred sa inyo, guys, no? Yung screen ka. Okay. So, let's uh, just wait for it to download. Ayan. Kasi nag- uh, Nagpo-process na siya. 
And so you can also use these different views for you to uh, check if uh, gusto nyo with file icons, tapos naka-detailed, detailed siya. It has uh, different um, uh, uh, details, last modified, yung size, and then yung type. And then, kung naka-folder siya yan, ganun din siya may kita. And uh, since na process na pala siya, na-download na, eto yung sinasabi ko guys, na naka-zip file na siya. Tapos pag once kasi na open nyo, you need to have uh, an extractor app or just like WinRAR. Ayan. Ito siya, may kita nyo na lahat ng files na nakalagay dito sa ating private files na download nyo siya na agad. <laughs> okay. So, yan yung way on how to uh, download also um, your files in just one clicking. Ayan. So, balik na tayo doon sa ating uh, student training course demo. Okay, uh, so just leave that uh, one. Ayan. So, next thing is um, yung kanina napakita ko kung, on how you can uh, uh, access yung mga multimedia files natin. Ayan. So, yung audio naman, paano naman siya? So, pag once na may nakikita kayong ganito, means audio file ito. Ayan. So, just play first to first five seconds of this audio. Your instructor download various files such as the course syllabus, additional readings, web links. Yeah. Ayan. So, yan yung mga audio files. You know, just uh, parang makikita nyo din. Meaning, uh, may instructions din si teacher na you just play this, uh, play the audio file ayan, for you to proceed with the next activity. Parang ganon siya. Yun yung mga additional instructions. So, those are the multimedia files that you can access. And under this common resource type din na tile, ayan, pwede nyo ding i-access tong mga to. Ayan. Kasi also, may kita nyo yung check kapag na-complete nyo niya yung um, certain activity. Kung na-download nyo din to, makikita din dito na completed na siya. Okay. So, um, next thing is, uh, eto naman, balik muna tayo, yung chat naman natin. So, malib ano man difference ng messaging sa chat? So, for the chat kasi, uh, makikita lang nila kapag uh, um, kahit uh, online sila, makikita nila agad. Tapos kahit naka-offline na, marireceive pa rin nila. But for the real-time chat, parang chat forum din kasi siya, wherein if your teacher require you to participate in this kind of activity, um, and dito din kasi yung discussions nyo, collaboration also, just like the forum, but in terms of chatting naman. Ayan. So, parang may, uh, may mag enter kayo sa isang chat room, tapos andun na lahat ng discussions nyo. You can see also the past chat sessions that you've in interacted. And then, lahat din ng mga... Uh, current users, makikita nyo din dito. Okay. So, let's uh, try to enter the chat box or the chat forum. And Ito yung papakita na sa chat room nyo. Okay. So, while waiting, and dapat magpapakita din yan. Oops, let's just close this one. Ayan. So, naglo-load na siya kung sino yung mga um, online din. Kung may kita nyo din, uh, may status din siya na kung sino yung nag-enter. May oras din siya kung sino nag-enter. Ayan. So, I think some of you are entering also the chat room. Okay, so, lakihan natin. 
para makita nyo. Then, kung sino yung, ayan. Oop. Actually, nakita ko yung pangalan ko. Eto. Ayan, naklik ko yung pangalan ko. We're in. Uh, makikita nyo lang yung profile niya. <laughs> ayan. <laughs> okay. So, balik tayo. Sorry. Na-close ko ulit. Open ulit tayo. Ayan. So, you guys can also send. Um, Naglo-load ulit siya. You guys can also send the your message using the box here. Dito sa baba. Okay. And so, bakit na-disable sa akin? So, let's just wait. So, ayan. Pwede kayong mag-enter ng message nyo dito. And so, in my account, I think it's not working. But uh, sa inyo, I think pwede sa inyo. Ayan. And then, also, um, again, yung mga discussions na to, recorded naman din siya. Ma-access nyo dito sa view past sessions. Na pwede nyo yung balikan kung narin may nakalimutan kayo na topic. Tapos nabanggit nyo dito sa chat. <clears throat> pwede nyo yung balikan yon. Okay, so let me just close that one first. Okay, so yan yung pwede nyo gawin inside the chat activity. Okay, so... Um, next uh, agenda before uh, we proceed with the morning break. Mm. Ayan. So, mangyayari, balik muna tayo sa uh, course page natin. Ayan. So, so, kung may kita nyo ulit, may mga other, um, other resources and activities pa na pwede nyo i-access, you can do also this one. You can check the Moodle mobile app na uh, link and then also this is uh, one link also an activity uh, that uh, is provided by your teacher. So, kunwari, uh, yung teacher nyo is nag-require niya na i-visit nyo itong activity na to. Ayan. So, pagka-click nyo, ayan, either um, a reference that you need to uh, access pertaining to the activity na gagawin nyo, Ayan. So, in this case, sinabi lang ni teacher na visit our Facebook page. Which is, this is the Facebook page of UC Main, I think. So, for UC METC, iba din yung, <clears throat> yung link na yan. Okay. So, pag once kasi na nakalagin na kayo yan, may kita naman siya. Okay. So, let's uh, go back to the course page. So, ito yung mga other um, activities na pwede nyong i-explore. So, later on, after naman ng morning break natin, uh, this is the important and exciting part for you, the assessments already. Ayan. So, um, in my watch, I think 9.53 na siya. Okay. So, I'll give you um, 15 minute break. So, balik na lang po tayo. I will resume my training um, 9.10. Ah, sorry, 10.10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 a.m. for the next activity or the next agenda. Okay, so uh, later on also, I will entertain some of the questions uh, from the Q&A section. And so, I think natabunan ng ating Q&A. So, ayan. Uh, some of the questions also were answered already. Ayan. So, check ko na lang muna siya. So, again, uh, I'll see you 10.10 uh, for the morning break. If you, if you want to have CR break, bathroom break, or also coffee break. Ayan. Yung mga hindi pa nag-breakfast. Uh, nag <laughs> Ayan. Okay. See. I'll see you again 10.10. With, yeah. Okay, so let's proceed. So, um, I'd like to um, answer some of the questions here. And I'd like to 
Um, uh, my question is, how can we submit our task assignments in Moodle? So, ito yata yung next na topic natin. <laughs> Ayan, so, um, again, ito yung uh, important part for you guys. So, kanina, uh, you are participating with the different activities and resources inside ng ating uh, platform. But now, we, uh, how can you now also submit your assignment, participate in a quiz, answer those quizzes? Ayan. So, ito yung uh, next agenda natin. Ayan. So, ito yung next agenda natin. The assessments. So, assessments uh, uh, consist of yung quiz nyo at saka assignment. But, they are still considered as an activity. So, if your teacher will require you to answer a certain quiz, if it's graded or practice quiz, still um, assessment pa din siya. And then also your assignment, submitting of assignment. So, it has two ways also for you to submit your assignment. Again, your instructor, your teacher will refer on the, uh, two different ways. So, kung gusto niya si teacher, you need to submit your answer, your assignment via online text or your you need to uh, submit your assignment via file submission. So, unahin muna natin tong online text submission na to. So, as if uh, if you are already enrolled um, or you can already access these the student training course demo natin, just go to the assessment tile, which is this one, and then open nyo lang muna yung online text submission. Okay. So we will do this one also in the uh, using of the Moodle mobile app. Ayan. So, pag once na open nyo na yung assignment, particularly this uh, title, and you have here the question and additional um instruction and you can see here also the submission status with the, the different uh, this is the first column for the submission status and the grading status the due date the time remaining and last modified and dun sa online text um may kita nyo kung uh, and, uh since sa inyo since hindi pa kayo nakasend Nang, sorry. Kung hindi pa kayo nakasend ng, or nakasubmit ng assignment, dapat hindi pa siya, uh, wala pa siyang laman. Ayan. So, since uh, in my case, ayan, last, last Monday or yesterday, I already submitted my assignment. Okay. So, how can you uh, submit your assignment via online text. Ayan. So, ipapakita ko na lang muna. So, since kasi, guys, yung akin, yung account ko, I already submitted uh, my assignment. Ayan. May kita nyo dito na submitted for grading. But in your case, uh, magpapakita yata na no submission yet. Diyan sa submission status. Same thing with the graded sta grading status kasi si teacher hindi pa niya nag-grade yung na-submit ko. And sa case nyo din, since hindi pa kayo nag-submit, syempre hiwala pa siyang grade. Ayan. For the due date, I think we are same also. <clears throat> and We are same also because uh, Ayan. Sorry. We are the same with the due date because ang um, nilagay ni teacher na last submission date will be until September 12. And may specific time siya which is until 11.59 a.m. Ayan, so yan yung due date na assignment nyo. And the time remaining, may status din yan. Tapos kung kailan na modify, since uh, again, I have already submitted my assignment, so, sa case nyo, kung magsasubmit pala kayo ng assignment, may tendency na ilalagay niya is ngayon. Ayan. So, Tuesday and kung anong date mo, kung anong oras mo sinubmit. So, dito sa online text, may kita nyo dito sa baba. 
mag-submit assignment. May button kayo dyan na submit assignment. So, just uh, click that one and I'll give you at least three minutes for you to complete via online text. May, may magpapakita na pag once na i-click nyo yung submit button here. Sorry, I didn't um, reset my account for this. Ayan. Ang mangyayari guys is mapupunta kayo sa um, submission page tapos doon nyo i- uh, ilalagay yung sagot nyo via online text. So, sa akin, ang ginawa ko nung, ang sinabmit ko is uh, may status din siya kung ilang words. Tapos, yan yung sinabmit ko na sagot ko. Ayan. Again, I'll give you five minutes to, uh, two to three minutes to do that. Okay, so I believe na tapos nyo na siya. Ayan. So pag once na, may ko-confirm ulit kasi guys na uh, isasubmit nyo siya for final confirmation. Ayan. I-submit nyo lang if you are already um, done with uh, submitting your assignment, i-final nyo na lang siya and then ma et, ang papakita dapat na submission status nyo will be um, draft or not submitted. Tapos confirm nyo ulit, eto na yung final na status ng assignment nyo. Okay, so, ayan. So, after that, yan na yung sa online text submission. So, again, you can directly, you can directly um, submit your assignment. Okay. Okay, so, in that case, um, I um, for this one, I receive a confirmation um, from from the school that uh, we can continue po this training on Friday. So apologies because uh, we are experiencing today the, down, the downtime error, yung nakikita natin kanina na error, which is the 504 gateway error. So um, in line with that, we do apologize that we are experiencing this uh, kind of error in the system. But uh, uh, we can continue the training. We can continue the training Friday afternoon. So we will just give you another link for you to uh, join. And then we can uh, continue this training. Po. And so again, apologies for the... Um, Apologies pa for the experiencing of the error, okay? So, I know some of you do, ca cannot access also the site. And so, kaya nag ano po siya, nag down time. Okay, so again, um, we will continue this one. So, the, the recorded uh, session of this um, meeting will be still uh, sent to your department. And then... We'll just uh, inform you again for the uh, continuation of our training uh, for Friday afternoon po. And so again, thank you very much for, um, we hope that uh, we, we hope po na you um, can consider for this uh, training because uh, we are experiencing the downtime error po.
Okay, so again, apologies for that. And uh, please uh, stay safe and thank you for this uh, morning pop.